Yo, what is good with my anime trade? So let's talk about Tiger and Teddy. This episode was sick as hell. Not only did we see some ridiculous pop off, this is not worth it. We saw some ridiculous pop off. We also got to see just what it's capable of when things are at a full blown head, right? Like when things are really actually popping off. <clears throat> and to know that it decided to use a form that was way more capable of doing damage compared to the form it was in, that it could just go back. Which kind of makes me interested to think of like what other things it could take from the years and years it could live. All the way up to a point where it's just switching on the fly, right? Like it could be a gun could be a bow, could be, you know, different types of animals, different stuff like that, and use it at its own will, which was sick with this wolf battle. Um, the weird thing is we didn't see it fully transform into anything else, but as the episode was called a small evolution, I think every bite that we saw the fur starting to change a little bit, was those evolutions, was those different things it was going through for whatever reason. Um, we didn't get a full blood explanation of what it is, but if, it, if I'm a guessing man, it had something to do with just the state of the bear, right? Like the bear was alive and seemingly dead at the same time, possibly. Uh, the really interesting thing too is the change in the people who were going to hold them captive and keep them around all of a sudden is very quick to keep them alive keep them on their travels and whatnot so even though they're being reported as dead it looks like they're being taken into the village of where the girl comes from that was going to sacrifice them and if that is the case what we see in the previews is them talking about figuring out immortality and just how it's possible for them to achieve it which is kind of nuts because they also saw this thing turn into an animal so it's like if you really want immortality do you really want the power to be turning into different monsters and stuff like or like different animals and different stuff along those lines i don't know about that but regardless this is getting interesting I am very happy with what I've seen so far. Um, I did not expect the wolf to pop off as hard as it did, biting the crap out of the nose and everything. So, very, very curious of where this is going, what's going to pop off next, and who is really going to stick with this uh, orb throughout all the different things because. Without a way to talk, and the only thing it says is arigato so much, is not a good sign for it standing up for itself at any given time. Especially being docile until something it doesn't approve of happening, and then it steps in. So once the humans do whatever they're going to do, it could change this orb to hate the humans for doing what they did. And it might react differently in the future. So we'll definitely have to see where this is going. I hope you all have an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case may be. Anything I didn't talk about, hit me up in the comments or on Instagram or Twitter. It's the same name, the anime G everywhere. So that makes sense. Peace.